yes, we need uh, legislation, we need the laws, we need the police enforcement, we need safe cars. But in the end of the day, it's the human person, it's yourself, you know, yourself uh, watching, who carries the highest responsibility for your own safety. Uh, women uh, sit uh, behind the wheel. What was the most often uh, mistakes uh, like with, uh, with driving without uh, some skills? Um, the first thing is when uh, you drive, obey the laws because they are here to protect you. Seatbelt, very simple, don't uh, use your mobile phones. It's now very common that uh, accidents are caused by phones. Of course, also drink and driving uh, can be very deadly. And my tip to everyone at home is just drive a little bit slower, especially when the conditions get more difficult or when you are in the, in the city because you have so many potential dangers facing you. Children running across your own concentration. A bit slower and try to be concentrated, then you have a good chance of having a nice and safe journey. Uh, what you are saying uh, is uh, applicable for every driver, uh, not, 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 not just young. And, and when you are saying uh, there is a lot of things to, to pay, pay attention, uh, are uh, young people is the, is the way uh, that the young people don't know that, that there is a, a lot of uh, things to, to watch, to, to pay attention? Yes, uh, when you are young and you participate new in the traffic, you have to learn a lot because you, you miss the experience. But also young people many times do mistakes under peer pressure. When they are in a group with young people, they want to show off. They don't understand the responsibility of life and the value of life. Um, so that leads into many nations, uh, the Czech Republic is no different, that young people are the highest cause of death on the roads because of the inexperience and their likelihood to explore the limits and that's completely wrong, that's fundamentally wrong and I think it is the government, this is the police with law enforcement but it's also the education system which has to be improved to give the young people a chance to gain education, to have special training, lifelong training, uh, to master the road, because it should be a fundamental need and right of everyone to arrive uh, safe when you participate in traffic. I would like to ask uh, how you see the differences between two uh, very uh, different worlds, the world of uh, FIA uh, racing, you know, uh, or the Oman racing on one side, and then you have the world of road safety issues on the other side, uh, which uh, more or less seems a bit different, but are they or are they have something in common? Well, uh, the world racing and road safety seems to be on the very two end of the spectrum, but actually it's not true. There's great synergies between the safety uh, on the road, which is uh, paramount, but also safety on the racetrack. Because in a race car, I always use my seatbelts, I have never alcohol, I'm on a very safe track, there's always first aid very quickly with me. Of course, I don't uh, drink alcohol or be distracted on mobile phones. We all drive one direction, very fundamental advantage to the road. Mm -hmm. And we are really safety driven. Uh, motorsport is um, maybe the most safety driven industry I would know. And there's many lessons we can uh, bring over to road safety, which is obviously a much bigger challenge because it, it belongs all over the whole world. Okay. And uh, a question, uh, you together with your, with your father uh, uh, runs uh, one of the biggest, uh, biggest circuits uh, in Tesla by Baden, uh, where you train how, how, to, how to drive safely. Uh, do you think, uh, are the common drivers uh, prepared uh, like in a good way for, for reacting in extraordinary situations or should they uh, learn, start learning earlier even, you know, or is it like the standard good in your eyes? Well, I think uh, we should look in a lifelong learning process. It starts with the children, it starts with the five, six year olds who first understand about mobility uh, and then per the age group uh, have to be very specific training programs. Uh, and then of course, uh, when you train the children, they are much more open to be educated later on when they're getting mm -hmm. the car. And we know the car is maybe the most deadly weapon out there for the, mm -hmm. for the young drivers, it kills the most in the world. Uh, therefore, extended uh, learning is, is the key to success and we have beautiful programs designed in Austria. My father was the inventor of many of them, where we trained millions of people so far 
and they reduce the accident. So that makes me very passionate for road safety. And uh, I can only ask the people at home. In the end of the day, it is you who shares the responsibility on the road, and not your car, not the legislation. You have to drive slower, and then you will drive safe.